Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So regarding the signals that I have sent last Saturday on the weekly analysis video, I believe the signals are going very well so far. However, we have to start again reviewing the market and let's see what's going on so far. So let's start of course with the Euro USD. Now regarding the Euro USD, if we go to the daily chart here and we draw here a Fibonacci retracement, we can check that the market right now has just reversed from Fibonacci retracement 61.8 and therefore it means most likely that the pair is going to continue the rise no less than hitting that previous resistance at Fibonacci retracement number 50 on 1.19700. However, it's important to keep an eye on the Euro USD to see the reaction when the market actually hit uh, that previous resistance right here. The peak of the resistance right here on 1.19635 uh, is very strong and therefore we have to expect maybe the, maybe the pair actually going to reverse right after hitting that resistance level. Now the problem here is with the take profit level. I really doubt that the pair is going to eventually be able to hit that level. So therefore we have to drag our line here and change the uh, take profit level sadly we have to make it very short actually we have to make it just like about 80 pips only and the stop loss is going to be not the stop loss i mean the safe zone is going to be about 60 pips sadly this is what the setup is providing us because again i'm not really sure what's going to happen however it's really up to you guys how you are handling these trades because these are just a signals no more so what we are going to do is we can hold the positions if you if you have ever placed a buy order right here on the euro usd now please pay attention because right now as i told you the pair is actually ranging exactly on 61.8 fibonacci retracement so if you have seen any bearish breakout candle appears right here breaking out from 61.8 that means you should immediately close your trade because most likely that means that the pair has managed to break out from 61.8 however if you see a bullish candle appears right here above 61.8 as long as you are above 61.8 retracement you should be fine and hopefully the market is going to continue the rise in my opinion actually uh, by next week we are going to short the euro usd if the pair is manages to break out uh, sorry uh, to continue the rise to hit the top of the peak of the resistance right here most likely that means we are going to start shorting the euro usd by next week because that means that the pair has managed to retest the broken uh, support trend line however if you are having this uh, order again i'm telling you keep it running and please keep your eyes on the candles because it's very important what's going to happen as we can see right now i switch to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame we're having right here a strong bearish breakout candle my problem is this breakout candle this shape this price action of the breakout candle usually indicates a continuation in the momentum meaning it indicates that the euro usd is going to continue the fall that's why we have to keep an eye on it since it's on fibonacci 61.8 i don't think the pair is going to actually break out easily from that level so therefore it's all about that level guys if you see again a bearish breakout appears on that level making a bearish break bearish breakout candle reversing from that resistance in that case please close your trade accordingly and don't keep it running otherwise if you see the market is still rising here and breaking out from that previous support level and if you see the market is rising again then keep the trade running and hopefully we will end it with a good profit let's take a look at the pound usd right now now regarding the pound usd sadly the pair has made what seems like a, a fake breakout and sadly it has exceeded our safe zone but immediately as we can see the market has respected that support right here and look at that this is very interesting when i have drawn here this fibonacci retracement it was on 61.8 and of course uh, it seems it seemed at the beginning that the market has break out from 61.8 however immediately the next candle was another bullish candle indicates that eventually this was a fake breakout candle and seems like the market has tricked us so therefore what we can see right now is that the market is back to the right position and i believe if i'm not mistaken as long as we are above fibonacci 61.8 we can see that right here we had a strong support level um that was at uh 1.38674 uh, most likely the pair might actually fall a little bit more continue making a pullback and after that is going to continue the rise therefore 
um, the uh, pound USD signal is still valid and I believe I, I don't know if you guys uh, if in case guys you have not entered the signal yet you can enter it again and again please rely on that strong support zone right here let me draw it for you um, I need to make it easier actually this is the support zone one second it's exactly right here right here and here exactly I really hope this is not confusing my friends let me just make it again here just like that all right fair enough so I hope it's not confusing this is the support zone that we are relying on so please uh, pay attention and as long as you are above this support zone you should be fine if you see again another bearish breakout candle from uh, breaking out from that support zone then please close your trades immediately otherwise as long as you are above this level you can keep the trade running now moving to the USD, to the AUD USD. Now AUD USD, as I mentioned before, is about to retest the broken, not the broken, sorry, is about to retest the support trend line. So you can see the the AUD USD actually has reversed exactly from the uh, buy order for a few for for some time actually. It has reversed for about uh 50 pips by the way i forgot to mention uh euro usd has also reversed i think from our buy order exactly from the level and went in about 40 pips of profit before reversing um pound usd as well has reversed i think or not yet oh, no it didn't reverse aud usd has reversed also from our buy level and went in total of 30 pips of profit anyway um the pair might fall a little bit more for another i would say 20 23 pips before gonna be eventually in profit let me just show you something let's go to the daily chart now on the daily chart we are having this support trend line here and i believe i have drawn it in the right way anyway if you see the the AUD USD actually falls a little bit more right here be sure that the pair most likely is retesting that broken that, that support level and also revisiting the support trend line if you see the market has reversed reversed right from that level then please keep your buy order uh, activated however if you see a strong bearish breakout candle again then of course you have to close your trade immediately it's all about this level the problem with this uh, time on the market now it is actually retesting a critical positions i mean it's either on 61.8 Fibonacci retracement or it's about to retest a support trend line or a resistance trend line. So we have to be careful because we are not really sure what's going to happen. Let me show you something very important. One second. So today on March 17 on Wednesday, we're having the Federal Open Market Committee uh, news, of course, and the statements coming out. And therefore, this is going to be about uh, this is actually debate time so i would say about 6 p.m uh, gmt time uh, 10 p.m dubai time uh, the news are, are gonna be out and i believe these are gonna move the market this is this news gonna make a huge uh, impact on the market and it's gonna cause the market to move in high volatility so we have to pay attention because actually these can change the whole direction of the market even this one here 4 30 p.m uh, dubai time uh, 12 p.m gmt time uh, the cad is going to be affected by affected by the cpi monthly uh, statement coming out so uh, please pay attention guys i believe that the market is going to move uh, according to this news and therefore I think that that's the reason the market right now moving very slow. Uh, if, we can, if we can see right here, the market is moving slowly in uh, low volatility mode until the news gonna be out. However, I believe that the market is eventually gonna respect that support trend line and continue the rise. Therefore, please keep your position if you hold it and hopefully uh, it's gonna continue the rise. But again, I'm telling you, you can expect again from them. Let me just uh, make sure I draw it for you exactly right here exactly right here perfect yes um i believe exactly right here yes you can expect from the trade to go just for about 20 26 pips 25 26 pips against your direction before it's gonna be in the profit so again please be careful when you are opening this trade let's take a look right now at the usd cad um, as we can see the usd cad has almost reversed from the entry point that, that i have given last saturday 
guys just one or two pips only before hitting the uh, sell level however i would say that the pair has actually the trade has been activated already and the pair has went in about 80 pips of profit and currently running in 58 pips of profit you can expect from the usd cad to rise again a little bit more not, not not for so long i mean uh, just right here i think to that level of that previous support level on 1.24745 if in case you haven't placed your your sell order for the usd cad i would i would assume that the this level of the previous support should be actually uh, good for the short again most likely the pair is gonna retest that level again so therefore we can keep the position open and hopefully the usd cad is gonna continue the fall so therefore if in case guys you didn't enter this trade you can sell again but it's not mandatory of course if you have opened already the, the short order then please keep one order only don't keep more because again um we are not sure what we're gonna happen these are just analysis and we are just again hoping for the continuation or the the, the, the bearish momentum to continue so therefore this is where you can expect uh, from the usd cat to reverse again just after about 20 pips more and then we can sell it again just in case guys you didn't enter with the sell order in the beginning USDGPY. The USDGPY, as I told you, my friends, has reversed exactly from the level given on last Saturday. As we can see, uh, it has reversed two times already and went in about 52 pips of profit, currently running in 18 pips of profit. Um, USDGPY, as I told you, my friends, is facing a very strong resistance right here on uh, 1000, well, sorry, 109.310. As you can see, the pair right now is facing this the pressure of this resistance and therefore it still is going to be consol in consolidation mode here. It's going to be ranging for some time before eventually going to be in profit. Now, of course, as I told you in the beginning with the Euro USD and the Pound USD, the problem here is that these levels are very critical. So if you see the pair has managed to make a bullish break out here from that resistance uh, trend line, then please close your trades immediately. However, as long as we are above this, uh, sorry, as long as we are below the sell level or inside the safe zone without seeing any strong bullish momentum, then of course keep the trade running. Most likely the, the USDJPY is going to be ranging inside that level for some time before eventually falling down. We are hoping for that and therefore again please keep your trade running and let's see what will going to happen. USDCHF. The USDCHF has reversed exactly from the sell level. Look at that. The, the reversal was perfect. And so far, the USDCHF is running in 55 pips of profit. Uh, total was 71 pips again. Uh, USDCHF, I believe, is going to continue the fall. The momentum is very strong here. And I believe the pair has to continue the fall. So, therefore, I believe there is not much we can say about the, the USDCHF. I mean, we can expect a small pullback just for about 20 pips again. So if in case, guys, you didn't enter this uh, trade yet, you can uh, resell again the USDCHF. Sell again at zero. Well, let me just be sure. So I will not be making mistakes. 92791. Correct. Yes. Right here. Uh, remember guys i'm on the four hour time frame and as we can see we're having here this previous resistance level you can tell it was a strong resistance by seeing the shape of the candle the longer the tail or the wick actually indicates a strength in the uh, pressure in the level therefore i believe this can be we can uh, rely on this level if you see the market rises a little bit more just to hit the same level of the resistance then please again keep the keep the short or uh, you can open another short order and let's hope for the best hopefully the market is going to continue the fall now regarding the gold now the gold is actually moving uh, in a, a bullish momentum indeed but however the pair did not reach our uh, buy level that means the gold signal is no longer valid now we need to see what we can do more with the gold as I told you, the gold actually is waiting for the FOMC uh, statements to show up. So therefore, I believe this is what's going to rock the market. I believe it's going to move the gold. So therefore, currently the gold, let me just go to the one hour time frame. Currently, the gold is actually moving inside this channel. Let me show you just like that. So the gold is actually trapped inside this ch channel and eventually seems like the market is actually the bullish momentum is stronger. 
so eventually if i'm not mistaken eventually the market is actually gonna continue uh in the ranging inside this channel then eventually again it's gonna uh, make the what we call the price explosion and the market is actually gonna continue the rise however things are not clear yet for the gold so we actually have to wait to see what will gonna happen now let me show you something very important now we are on the four hour time frame and if i draw here a fibonacci retracement look check that out look at that we are right now above 61.8 meaning the bearish momentum or the bearish trend is over and right now the market seems like it can actually continue the rise now look at that the market has respected fibonacci 61.8 all the way not even a single candle has managed to to close below that level of 61.8 fibonacci retracement that is very interesting most likely it means that the market is right now getting ready to the rise so therefore most likely the gold is actually going to continue flying up however since we are giving here a, a midweek signals we have to give you the right moment to start again buying the gold if we can so therefore of course the best level to start buying the buying the gold again has to be exactly on fibonacci 61.8 so therefore here let me just um make it a better signal just like that yes perfect make it make it more accurate as much as possible so again gold should be good for the buy at 1729.15 point 29 sorry 29 what 79 29.15 uh, I, I, again i really doubt if the gold is gonna uh, revisit that level again since we had already one two three attempts already on that previous uh, 61.8 re re uh, retracement so therefore uh, this seems to be the best option if in case guys you want to enter this trade you can go ahead and place the buy order immediately but again i'm telling you pay attention to the fomc news to tonight uh 6 p.m gmt time because they're gonna be very critical and they can change the whole direction of the market we are not yet sure what will gonna happen and by the way this is the problem with the midweek analysis video by the way okay the target is gonna be right here at the peak of the resistance so what I was telling is the problem with the midweek analysis video that these times usually are full of news. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday usually are full of news, unlike Monday and Tuesday. Therefore, you can see the accuracy level on the weekly analysis is more than the midweek because when I release the midweek analysis video, um, there are so many news coming out. So they are actually affecting the signals that we are sending right here. Anyway. 1556.30 is going to be our target now regarding the safe zone the safe zone has to be ranging between fibonacci 61.8 and 50 and from logical view we can see that right here we had a strong support as well which was previously a very strong resistance therefore as we look at that the gold is actually rising already I really doubt that the gold is gonna uh, revisit our buy order or even go in the safe zone. I doubt it. I doubt this is gonna happen unless the uh, unless, okay, that, that is of course depending on the outcome of the FOMC statement. Uh, it all depends on it. So we have to wait and see what will gonna happen. But for the meantime, uh, and so far from technical view, we can see that the gold is rising and therefore we can keep our buy order if in case you have uh, opened any i would advise you to keep the trade running as long as you are above 61.8 you should be fine uh, if the pair goes below 61.8 then please pay attention to the price action once you see a bearish breakout the candle has appeared then close your trade and just wait for another better moment to start buying again so in the end uh seems to be a very good week and uh I think everything is running so well. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.